Right, the next race for main tree on the heavy ground, the last race of the season on National Hunt is a two mile six entry hunter chase on the Grand National Course. Over two mile six furlongs, to 110 handicap, one is Sands Loy, Stu Gray, Dance on the Stage, Martin Leedham, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry, Lord of the Wind, Patrick Hogan, uh, Clashwell William Central, Clashwell, Clash William Central, Patrick Hogan, High Admiral, Paul Rhodes, Patricia's Brig, Stu Gray, Warbird, Paul Rhodes, Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, and Ice Pearls, Obi-Wan. Those are the ten horses in the last race of the day. Last race of the season on National Hunt, and away they go. And quickly away, Ice Pearls uh, is on the inside of High Admiral, and on the inside of that is Dance on the Stage. And these three vine for the lead, although Ice Pearls has not gone to the front from Rab Corbett on the inside of uh, Dance on the Stage. High Admiral still right there on the outside. Then the yellow colours, Black Cup of Patrick Hogan's Lord of the Wind with Warbird, and that one's inside the light blue colours for Paul Rhodes. He has Clash William Central on his outside with Maximum Mayhem for Alex here on the outside of that. And at the back of the field, we have the two. Stu Gray also stands lawyer who's actually now moved away from the back of the field and Patricia's break who is the trailer but there's only eight lengths first to last year as Ice Bull takes them along they're all still standing here as they pass the big screen and jump the next and as Ice Pearl jumps in front from Rab Corbett in second Dance on the stage has dropped back to third on the inside of that is Clash William Central for Patrick Hogan they jump the next fence over the water uh, then comes Sands Loy. Maximum Mayhem is on the inside for Alex Cherry with the orange leaves and orange cap. The black colours on that one's outside is Patricia's break for Stu Gray's move, but from the rear. The yellow colours and the black cap on the outside. That is Lord of the Wind for Patrick Hogan. The light blue colours on that one's inside. The grey horse is Warbird for, pa for Paul Rhodes. And High Admiral in the darker blue colours with the black and white stops spots on the uh, sleeves. That's uh, High Admiral for Paul Rhodes, the second of the Paul Rhodes horses. But it's the Obi Wan horse that beats Ice Pearls in those yellow colours. Three lanes clear of Rab Corbett in second. Then comes Clash William Central in third for Patrick Hogan. On the in outside of Clash William Central is Sands Loy. In between horses, the red colours, the yellow cap. That's Dancer on the stage for Martin Leadham. They're followed by High, uh, Patricia, uh, Patricia's Brig, who's on the inside of High Admiral. Then comes Warbird, who jumps out slowly and allows Maximum Mayhem to go up on his inside. And a lot of the wind detached at the back of the field, about four lengths off the main body. As Ice pulls the leader from Rab Corbett in second, they're all still standing here as they jump the open ditch. And as Ice pulls well clear of Rab Corbett in second, then comes Dance on the stage. On the outside, High Admiral is on the outside of Sands Loy. On the inside of that is Clash William Central. Um, a bad mistake there by Dance on the stage has dropped him to almost last. Um, on the inside of him is Maximum Bird, then Warbird, and Lord of the Wind. Something must, must have gone amiss with Lord of the Wind. He's uh, tailed off at the back of the field as Ice Pools jumps the next. Mistake at the back by Warbird, and has left him in second from last with only a Lord of the Wind behind him as Ice Pools goes along in front from an High Admiral on the outside of Sands Loy. On the rail is Rab Corbett for Alex cherry then about a three length break to patricia's brig is on the outside of dance on the stage on the rail we have maximum mayhem they're followed by warbird and clash William central and if you get if you get about a lord of the wind i don't think he has much chance for coming from there it's last pearls in front well clear now six lanes clear of sans law in second high admiral on that one's outside the blue colors of paul Rhodes is high admiral the orange colors just behind that is rab corbett for alex cherry then the red colors of dance on the stage for martin needham they come to jump the next behind that is a clash william central for patrick hogan on the outside so that Patricia's break. Warbird behind that, then Maximum Mayhem, and Lord of the Wind is still going, but he's about 10 15 lengths off the last horse at this stage. They jump the next, and it's still House Pulls in front, but not so far clear now. War Hyde, and he's creeping closer for Paul Rhodes. Sands Lawyer going one in third for Stu Gray, with on his outside Rab Corbett. Then comes Dancer on the stage, just jumping has been a bit erratic, and the inside of that is Clash William Central. Still going well enough behind that Patricia's break, and the back two at this stage, uh, Maximum Mayhem and Warbird. We can forget about Lord the wind can win from there. I had more the wood leader with six and a half pointers left to travel. He's now past Ice Pearls, who's in second and being pushed along. Then comes Sands Loy, still going well for Stu Gray just behind that. They're followed by Rab Corbett. Clash William Central moving closer for Patrick Hogan. Still going well enough behind that is Dancer on the stage. Three lengths further back to Warbird. Patricia's Brig and Maxim Man being pushed along to try and prove now as High Admiral takes it up from a rally and Ice Pearls on his inside. Then comes Sands Loy. Behind that, Dancer on the stage trying to get going now for Martin Needham and moving forwards powerfully up on the inside. Clash William Central. Then comes Rab 
Crab Corbett, Maximum Moan, Mayhem is coming from the back of the field for Alex Cherry. Back in front, nice ice pearls, but here comes Dancer on the stage on the outside. Our Admiral seems to have cried enough. Clash William Central moving forward. Going to be need some work, luck to get past there, but although war about our Admiral is um, chattering and gives him some space, and but in front it's Dancer on the stage who picks it up now from Clash William Central in second. They're followed by Ice Pearls, Maximum Mayhem moving up on the outside now for Alex Cherry. That one's come from the back of the field and also trying to run on his war bird up the outside, but it's Clash William Central and now comes to the front for Patrick Hogan from Dance on the stage. Maximum Mayhem, Ice Pearls is still boxing on on the inside. Then comes our Admiral and Warbird, but Clash William Central drawing clear now as they approach the elbow. And it's Clash William Central. It's gone well clear here for Patrick Hogan. Clash Dash William Central well clear and the elbow is going to win this very comfortably. It's about six, seven lengths clear of Warbird and High Admiral who's fighting out second. But Clash William Central easing up on the line, wins the last race. From in second High Admiral, Maximum Mayhem was third. Dance on the stage was fourth. And the last race of the national season, the national hunt season, goes to Patrick Hogan. We'll be back in September for the next season. Uh, Patrick Hogan wins us with Clash Williams Central. Our Admiral back in second. A maximum man was third for Alex Cherry. And Martin Needham's all stance on the stage was fourth. And I think it's Warbird for Paul Rhodes. The footage of the last price money. That's Paul Rhodes' the horse was indeed for fifth. So Clash Williams Central, the winner for Patrick Hogan. We'll, as I said, we'll be back in September for the next season of Star Wars 7.